What is going on guys? Freak here from the channel Frost and Fist. I want to welcome you to this showcase. Got another exciting showcase for you guys. It's a special showcase that um, I did for a friend, a friend of the channel. Um, so, Brother Running Bear had reached out and asked if I could put together and paint uh, R. Jack Rockfist, the one of the badasses of the um, Space Wolf Army, right? Amazing, amazing character. <clears throat> and uh, of course, that it was a little twist. Now, here's the thing, the previous Space Wolf Armies that I've painted, and I haven't painted a whole lot, uh, but the ones that I have been able to put together and paint were different colors. They were not traditional Space Wolf colors, right? Um, my first Space Wolf uh, uh, paint jobs that I've done were for a friend, uh, Atlas, again, another friend of the channel, and he wanted them uh, black with bronze and blue. It's a little different, right? So that was, those, that, that was my first time ever painting uh, Space Wolves. And then uh, my own, uh, where I've just painted a couple recently, which were the non-traditional blue. I went with a, a, a darker blue, um, and I liked how that turned out, not Easter egg shell blue, okay? Well, uh, Brother Running Bear wanted uh, me to paint his uh, Jack 13th Company colors, but more to his theme and style of his army. Um, he wanted me to go with a gray and a red along with gold, um, which I've never painted anything gray that I recall. So that was going to be a challenge. And of course, you know how much I like to do a lot of highlighting and shading and all that good stuff, um, you know, brings out the model. So to paint something gray, I was like, oh, how am I going to get this to lighten up? and to show some some dark shadows as well you guys know me i'm an imperial fist player and i'm most of the stuff that i paint is going to be yellow now i break the yellow down with a little brownish red that kind of give it a nice you know vibrant look but um again gray was more of a challenge so hey challenge accepted and um i went ahead and i and i decided to do it for him i think he turned out okay um, of course, there are things, always things that can be better, but I did like how he turned out. Um, I tried, one of the things that, of course, I wanted to make sure was to try some of the tips that I learned from Oni Studios. Um, he actually did a tutorial live on our show a couple of weeks back, and you can probably check those out, check that out. I'll put the link in the description, her. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it, it actually helped a lot. Um, you know, I've always been a hit and miss with painting faces. It's always been a real challenge for me. So I've never been really, really, you know, acing that part of the hobby. But um, I did try it. And I, I'll tell you what, man, it, it really made a big difference. It really did. So I'm getting a little better. I'm not perfect. <laughs> but I definitely, I think it came out a little better. Um, gave him a personality, you know, instead of when I try to do the eyes, he's not, you know, hey, I'm the big wolf. No, he's not derpy. Um, you know, so anyway, you be the judge. <laughs> but I think he turned out pretty cool. Um, the basing for the model, I wanted, I, I, I first I started thinking, well, traditional, right? You know, space wool, um, snow background, you know, snow terrain. He didn't want that. He wanted non-traditional, so I kind of looked back at some of the pictures of his original army, and he had a lot of grass. Well, um, I, I like to break the grass up a little bit with uh, with something else, so I decided more like an Icelandic scenery where it's volcanic with grass, different color grass, the, the uh, brown and the green mixed together uh, in a you know, uh, mountainous terrain area. Anyway, um, I, and I, I think I was able to achieve that. I think it turned out pretty good. Anyway, guys, without further ado, let's get started and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. So here is the first pick, and let me move to where I can see it. Um, so you can kind of see, um, this is a pretty good 
a good pick of him, right? So again, uh, he wanted it gray, and um, I wanted to make sure to get a lot of the shadows and the shading in this model. Again, I've never, never really done gray before, but I one of the things that I've learned, of course, one of my biggest heroes um, in the hobby is, of course, Kenny Boucher from um, Next Level Painting. Amazing, amazing painter, amazing artist. The guy says he's not a scientist of whatever he's doing, but I think he is. Um, but as you can see, um, I try to follow a lot of his steps. You know what he says, right? You paint it to an 11 so you can bring it down to a 10. And that's what I did. I, I At least I tried. Um, so I, I really worked hard at trying to get them as bright and as high as I can so I can bring them down with the wash. I use Army Painter washes um, and I think it turned out really good. It, it definitely muted them really well. Uh, so let's continue here. So here he is. Uh, it looks like he is in mid uh, chuck or launch or whatever you want to call it. He's about to about to hit somebody in the head with this here hammer um so i'd really like to pose i i think this particular uh, scenery and all it kind of goes well um with with the pose um because it looks like he's in action he's he's about to swing this and launch it thor style you know i really liked it um as you can see i did brighten up the feet and little uh, highlights where they should go um, I did a lot of edge highlighting as well. Um, one of the things that I've always wanted to do was this with the hammer. Um, I've saw I've seen Mythos do this, and he does a great job where he just does a gorgeous job with the hammer, the handle itself. And I've always struggled with that, so I finally got that technique down, I believe. You know, so I'm still learning stuff from my Wolf brother as well. He says he's learned stuff from me, but I get a lot of stuff from him as well. Um, here is the back side. Get a little booty shot of R. Jack himself. And as you can see here, I I did not I did a little bit of weathering, I but I did not want his armor looking tattered. I'm not a tattered kind of guy. I didn't want have him having nicks or you know big scratches, but I want it to look like he's worn. You know, like he's been in the trenches for a while now, and uh, he hasn't been base to clean up his armor in, in in about a month or so right so this looks like he's just been really really at it and uh i love i love how he turns out right here love the look um again you can see the highlights towards the back end here and on the back of the calves of the legs rather um and that's kind of what i was looking for the metallics looking metal right looking metallic and of course the um his color scheme the way he wanted it. Here's uh, here's another the other side here again. You can see uh, the light uh, lighting here. Um, uh, again, again, I, he, I think he turned out really well. And this is the part that I wasn't sure. I had painted this completely bronze, kind of like what the middle is. But then he told me that the rest of his army has a blue in his shield, so I wanted to make sure to do that. So I was able to put a little bit of blue around the trim and put a little wash on that as well. Here's a really good front shot of the angry man. And you can see, again, this. I love this pose. Um, love the look. I, I just, I'm not a huge fan of fine cast. You guys could probably uh, agree with me. Uh, that fine cast, especially this particular model, has always been kind of problematic since it's kind of brittle. Um, and the head just looks smaller than what it really needs to be. But overall, I think he turned out okay. I think he did okay, and uh, the the client likes him. You know, Brother Running Bear loves the way he turned out. Again, I really took my time with the face. Um, you can kind of see a tooth right here, you know, and uh, I, I gave him a little blush, trying to make his features stand out. Let's go to the next. Here's another action shot. You can see uh, just, again, I, I, love, I love the action shot. He just looks like he just found his target and he is launching this hammer upside somebody's head. That's... 
just epic right there, man. Like he's about to, like he's swinging at something or he's about to launch it. Here is another, um, another uh, view. And again, you can see the uh, highlighting and a lot of the shading. And we dropped the tone down a bit with the uh, Army Painter washes. Um, and you can see it kind of brought it down a little bit. The metallic stay metallic. Um, the lighting stay light and the dark stays lark, dark. I said lark. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right. Um, <clears throat> again, here's another view. This is uh, kind of a quarter side view here. You can see. Um, now, this is this is what he wanted his shoulder pad to be, the red, but I wanted a little metallic to kind of shine through. Um, I wanted that metal to bleed through a little bit to kind of break that down. Um, so I wanted that to look, you know, kind of different. I didn't want a solid red. Let's see. <clears throat> you can see a little better shot of it where it's kind of like a little metallic look here. And here you can see his face a lot clearer. You can see really clear. You can see the tooth, right? Looks like he's a snaggle tooth. I love that look. And I did make his eyes. You can see his eyes. They're kind of looking up a little bit. Like he. Oh man, this is creepy looking. <laughs> to say the least. Uh, the least. I think he. Again, I think he did a little well with that. Um, I probably could have toned this down a little bit. Now that I'm looking at it a little closer. That's how way the way it is, right? But gosh, man, fine cast can really jack up somebody's. Anyway, um, again, I think we've already seen this shot, but uh, that is the side shot of him. And of course, um, here is once again um, a full shot of the man uh, about to club somebody upside the head with the eyes. You can see he's kind of looking up a little bit. And I love it. I mean, his uh, you can see his teeth underneath, his uh, one tooth here. Oh, I think it turned out really well. I love the, how the base turned out. I think it, it came out okay. Um, again, it's that, you know, uh, different type of grass uh, on a rocky terrain. I think it, uh, I think it worked out really well. So I'm pretty, uh, pretty happy with, uh, with how he turned out. Um, yeah, that is pretty much it. I, you know, it wasn't going to be a long, uh, a long video. Just something that I wanted to showcase. Uh, um, really had a lot of fun. It definitely had its challenges because I wasn't used to painting gray. Uh, but uh, I definitely enjoyed it, and I know that the uh, that the client liked it as well, and that's what's important, right? So that is pretty much it, guys. I really hope you liked this video. Uh, as always. Mythos and I would love to have you as part of the pack if you're not yet subscribed to the channel. But also, hit us, hit the like button if you like this. If you want to see more, give us some comments below. We're going to keep on bringing as much as we can uh, uh, out. We're going to be doing way more projects. Um, you know, we've got a lot of painting to do. A uh, box of Shame of Grey, or Grey of Shame. That was a select sick. Yeah, so the box of gray that I have, lots of it. Yeah, so shamefully, it's full, and I need to start whittling it down. And since um, my Imperial Fist got an amazing Codex boost, I'm going to be putting a lot of Imperial Fist um, product out. So that's something I'm going to be pushing out. So my Space Wolves are going to take a little back seat just for a little while until I can kind of, you know, really get my Imperial Fist where I want them. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And as always, guys, please check out our um, Patreon if you'd like to donate. Um, you know, you can donate as low as a dollar and as much as whatever you want. So it just helps to support what we do. And the Mythos and I absolutely love you guys for that. We appreciate it. Most of all, though, we appreciate you guys joining us every Friday night. Uh, at 8.30 p.m. on our live stream. Mythos and I, you know, air the Frost and Fist uh, Friday Night Live, and a lot of times we'll have a guest. This Friday night, we're excited to have Brother Archer, the um, man with a plan. He's one of our moderators of the channel. Great guy, great friend of the channel. 
and a funny guy too, great personality. Uh, he's going to be on with us uh, this Friday night again, 8:30 Central Time, guys. I hope we see you. Hope to see you there. And uh, bring your bring your uh, paints, your uh, your models, and uh, come and have a sit down with us and chat. By the way, we enjoy chatting with you guys as well. So come and join us, and we'll see you then. Y'all have a great time. Take care.